Fight Club 25. We in here, man. Yo, I want to talk about uh, Jamal Charlo versus uh, Julian J. Rock Williams, man. Uh, will this fight happen? That's the, that's the question that I have right now. Will this fight even take place? Um, yo, back in June, let me get right into it, man. Back in June, the IBF ordered uh, the number one contender, Julian J. Rock Williams, to face off with Jamal Charlo, J- Jamal Charlo for the IBF strap. I'm just going to say Charlo for now on, man. Simplify matters. <laughs> Uh, yeah, back in June, man, the IBF ordered this fight. You dig? Uh, fast forward to today. Charlo has not signed on the dotted line, man. He has yet to sign a contract, and uh, I think September 8th is gonna go to purse bid. Back in June, they had 90 days to make it happen. Um, uh, something happened with uh, Charlo's eye. And he got a 15-day extension, but uh, the IBF released a statement. Uh, I think September 8th is when everything will uh, resume. So uh, that's probably when it'll go to purse bid. I don't want to jump to conclusions and say that uh, Charlo, Jamal Charlo is ducking the homie. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to jump out the window and, and, and make that statement, man. But, you know, on his verified Twitter, he made a statement. He said, Charlo Williams is worth M's, worth millions. Yo, my dude, man. <laughs> I'm like, you know, everybody with a belt, man, uh, thinks they're Floyd Mayweather, man. Uh, everybody with a belt thinks that they can demand, uh, you know, five and ten million dollars man uh, like let's be realistic uh jamal charlo the biggest name on your resume is uh austin trout uh you know that's the biggest name on your on your resume austin trout he was in there with a couple of dudes he beat miguel cotto yeah he beat miguel cotto while uh, miguel cotto was going through something man uh, around that time he beat him uh i think it was pre freddie roach cotto uh yeah, that's that's like your biggest name on your resume. You fought K9, man. You fought Cornelius Bundridge, but I mean, uh, come on, dude, man. You haven't really fought anybody. Let's be realistic. You haven't really fought nobody. Uh, now you have a young hungry lion who's coming into your midst, uh, and he's ready to challenge you, man. And you, the champion, he's the challenger. Uh, make that title defense, man. Like. You know, uh, maybe, maybe, you know, in defense of Jamal Charlo, man, I'm going to be objective. Maybe he's holding out. Maybe he held out intentionally so it could go to purse bid because uh, the purse bid always favors the champion and not the challenger. So, uh, you know, maybe he held out for that, man. And and this is what I'm hoping, man, because, uh, you know, the 154-pound division has been uh it's been stagnant lately man like these guys is it's not doing nothing man uh not to get off topic but Everslandy Lara man yo Everslandy Lara man you know the WBA is funny man he's the super champion and the super champion doesn't have uh to make any mandatory title defenses man uh so that shows you why Eris Landy Lara has been sitting there fighting the guys that he's been fighting just look at his last three opponents man just 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 uh look into it for yourself man um but off that subject man just the 150 po- 154 pound division as a whole man it's like nobody these guys are not fighting each other man so anyway what's gonna happen is if Jamal Charlo disappoints the fans and vacates the belt uh, which would be like a real sucker move, man. Uh, and there's no way to really justify vacating your belt, man. When you haven't really fought anybody to demand uh, the type of money that, you know, setting your expectations real high. I understand this business first, but come on, bro. Anyway, if it doesn't happen and he, and he vacates the belt, then uh, 
Tony Harrison, I think they moved him up to number two in the rankings. He'll fight uh, J-Rock for the vacated IBF strap, man. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Will it happen? Will it happen, man? It doesn't sound good right now. That's for sure, man. But this is boxing, man. You know, such is life, man. Fight Club 25. Subscribe.